Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy DJ Short E from Philly. Excuse the mess. Um, I was asked a couple questions about the platter on the SC6000M, so I'm hoping I can answer any questions. Um, it's, it's an easy platter to mess with. I barely have to put any pressure on it. That's on a hard setting. This is how you set the platter um, stiffness for like stuff like um, backspin or harder. And as you see, I, I'm barely using anything to stop the platter, so I'm not really having any problems. I guess that's the difference between the SC5000 and the 6000M. It's all in the settings and how you um, adjust the torque on your platter. Another thing is, um, all right, there's a button right here called motor. So if I turn the motor off, the platter doesn't spin. So now it becomes like a nudging thing. I can speed it up or slow it down. And you can do it by the size also. So, I, I don't know why um, you may have had problems with the SC5000M, but I don't have any, any, any of those issues with the um, SC6000M. The platter behaves just... I want to say like a 1200, but because of the size, I can't say that. Um, so it reminds me of Denon's um, SC um, 30, not the SC, De Denon's 3500 um, turntable. And so far as the platter is concerned, the torque is concerned, um, how you can manipulate it for scratching or, you know, any tricks that you want to do as a DJ blending um, from one song to another. So um, I love the platter. I, I love how it operates. Um, I like the fact that if I want to get custom vinyl, as you see, I just push the button and quick release it. I take it off. And um, hopefully that answers your questions. Uh, once again, DJ Short E from Philly signing off. Peace.